All right, let's fire this thing up. Is this a lot of fun and it is great exercise. I've been on a rowing regimen for about a week now and the cardiovascular workout you get is incredible and it's really kind of building up the chest. Well, good deal you made it. Hi, I'm John Bromiscus. It's great to have you back aboard the boat with us again. What I'm in is what's called an Adirondack guide boat and they first started building these things about 160 years ago in upstate New York for the tourism industry. And what you're looking at is a kit that we're going to show you how to build today on the program. Now, we're going to be getting into a boat building technique called gluing and screwing. We're going to be working with epoxy resin along with some brass screws. We're also going to be up in Vermont, and we're going to be at a shop there that's building these Adirondack guide boats and wait until you see these pieces of art being created. But guess what? Before we can get into any of this stuff, shoot, you know the real by now. We need to work out a little trade-off. We've got to get all of you to spend the next 30 minutes with us right here on the beautiful water's edge. And then in exchange, with again the help of a few of my very knowledgeable friends in the marine industry, we're all going to pool together in order to do our very best to let you in on a few more ways to make your boat ship shape. Ship Shape TV, America's favorite boat improvement show. We're at Blowing Rocks Marina. And it's here where the G-Man wants to build a 15-foot craft out of wood, epoxy resin, and brass screws. So if you're into woodworking, while at the same time looking to make a functional craft that's also a piece of art, get ready. Because the founder and host of Ship Shape TV is about to roll up his sleeves in order to get to work. I'm naturally referring to John Graveskis, our boat improvement expert extraordinaire. So, Mr. G, if you could please, sir, take it away. Well, thanks, Buck. The first thing that I'd like to do today is introduce you to our first guest. Who we have the privilege of having on the program is a gentleman named Steve Callback. And Steve is one of the owners of a company called Adirondack Guide Boats Incorporated. And they're making a line of vessels, 13 to 18 foot, that are really turning a lot of heads, including mine. And when I was up at the New York boat show, I discovered that not only are they making these boats in a shop in Vermont, but they're also making some of these vessels available to consumers in kit form, which really got me excited. Now, Steve has one of these kits set up on one of our display tables, so let's take a little walk in order to find out a little bit more. Hello, Steve. Hi, John. How are you? I'm doing well. Great. Well, thanks for having us on your show. Thank you so much for coming down. You guys are building a beautiful boat. It's literally like a piece of art out on the water. And I got real excited when I found out that you also make kits. What are some of the components made out of this? Oh, well, John, let me explain to you. This is a very comprehensive kit, and it's made so that people at home can build this boat and yet it's not so intimidating that they don't get the project finished. Okay. Now here I've got a stem. You can see it's already been rabbited. So a lot of the work we've done for you is really just an assembly process. The stem band is on there, all of the brass pieces. Moving down here, we have uh, the ribs and there's 13 ribs to each boat. What it's size boat is this particular kit? We're going to make a 15 foot boat. All right. What are, what are these right here? These are the strips, John. They're made of western red cedar, and they're very lightweight and very durable. What is the stem, and what are these ribs? What are these made out of? They're made of, out of spruce, northern spruce, and they've been first steam bent into a form to assume this shape all the way across from gunnel to gunnel. Okay. And what are we looking at here? These are some of the parts to the deck, John. The guide boat has a deck forward and aft, and this is cherry wood. And you can see that it's actually book matched. We use the same grain from one side to the other. Cherry wood's a beautiful wood, and that's why we love to use it. This is a very high quality kit, isn't it? It's very, it, it really is. Let's talk about this hardware that I'm looking at right here. 
what is it made out of? And I just I love the the feel of it. The, the, it looks almost like you know something from the 1850s. Well, it is exactly. You hit it right on the nose there. This is uh, a bronze alloy, and it's a traditional Adirondack guideboat pattern as was used about 150 years ago. Okay, so where do we begin? How do we start putting this together? Well, we're first we'll have to make a builder's jig, and I can show you how we do that. Okay, lead the way. Down here we've got some completed builder's jig stands. They're made out of plywood, two by fours, all materials that you can get at your local building supply place. And so you, you brought these down with you from Vermont. That's right. But you have directions for us to build these things. That's right, and the instructions it tells you exactly how to build these. All right, they look very similar to saw horses, and are they used in the same manner? In the same sense, yes. Okay. What do we have here on the table? We've got two long two-by-fours. One will go on one side of the jig and one on the other, and it holds the whole central axis of the jig together. Now, are these bolted in place? They'll be through bolted right through the jig. Okay. And what is this component? This is our strong back. And you can see it has a slight camber on the top so that the boat reflects a rocker. These notches here are cut out to receive the ribs when the boat is built upside down on the jig. Excellent. Well, hey, right now we need to take another time out, but keep it right here because when we come back, Steve and I are going to show you how to put the bottom board for our Adirondack onto our fixture. Plus, we're going to show you how to put in the ribs. We'll cover it right on the other side of the break. You're dialed in to Shipshape TV, boat improvement that's easy to comprehend. Well, fantastic. We are so excited that you're still with us today here at Chipshape TV. For our topic this time has been how to build a wooden boat called the Adirondack Guide Boat. And again, we have Steve Callback on the program from the company. And we've been quite busy during the break. We sure have. We started off with our bottom board, which is also the keel to our craft. And we needed to remove some wood from both sides. We used a special type of tool, which was kind of old-fashioned. What's that called? It's called a draw shave, John. A little tip here is if you hear the wood kind of crack on you or splinter, that just means that you're going in the wrong direction. Go in the opposite direction, and you're going to be able to shave off that material very quickly. We then came back with a hand plane, and we kind of planed the keel. And what we're trying to do here is we're trying to extend the line of these ribs. Take a look at this profile, and we wanted to make sure that we could extend that line all the way down to the bottom of the bottom board because we're going to be coming back with some wooden strips and we're going to be gluing and screwing those on to the bottom board as well as our ribs. But let's talk about the ribs and how did we attach them to the bottom board? Well we fastened using a number six by one inch silken bronze Robertson head screw. We put three of them through the back and into the rib from the other side. Now we drilled a special type of hole here. We wanted to also countersink our pilot hole, and what kind of bit did we use? We used a tapered fuller bit with a countersink attachment. Well, what we want to do is once we have all 13 ribs onto our bottom board, is we want to set this up on top of our fixture, and we want to put in our spreaders, and we can begin the process of gluing and screwing on our strips. John, what we're doing here is cutting strips for our cedar guide boat. The table saw is mounted with three very thin blades, and we get three boards per pass. What angle are the blades set at? 22 and a half degrees. Excellent. Let me real quick introduce you to everybody.